Hi guys, Audrey here. So let's try to understand this relationship between a line and its normal vector and its direction vector. So we saw that a line can have equation ax plus by equals c, where this a, b right here, the coefficients of x and y are what's called the normal vector. And that normal vector should be perpendicular to my line. Um, so let's take a look at a line that is in slope intercept form. So this is the slope intercept form of a line, which is the form that probably you're the most comfortable with, that you use the most before linear algebra. And let's see if we can use this form right here to try to understand what this normal vector looks like and also what it means to be a vector parallel to this line, which we called a direction vector. So again, I remind you this n equals ab, that's perpendicular to l. This is what's called a normal vector. So this is my normal vector. Okay, so this is the slope intercept form of the line, y equals 2 thirds x plus 4. And what this means is I can look at this thing right here and see that the slope of this line is 2 thirds. And I can see that the y intercept, in other words, when x is equal to 0, the y intercept is 0, 4. So those are things I can see just by looking at the line. That 4 right there is the thing that gives me the y-intercept. Okay, so let's just take a second and graph this line. If I graph this line, this is like saying 1, 2, 3, 4. I know that I have this point right here. That's my intercept. That's the 0, 4. And then the slope tells me rise over run. So that 2 thirds, I remind you, means for every two I go up in the y direction, I go three to the right in the x direction. Means go two up in y direction and three right in x direction. So if I go two up, one, two in my y direction and one, two, three in my x direction. That gives me another point. And having those two points right here is enough to define my entire line. So this right here is that line. Okay, now let's take this y equals two thirds x plus four and rewrite it in the general form. So my y equals two thirds x plus four. The first thing that I can do is multiply both sides of this equation by 3. And then I will end up with 3y is equal to 2x plus 4. Now I'm going to subtract 3y from both sides and subtract 4 from both sides. And this is going to give me, I'm going to kind of flip my sides here. So I have 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 4. Now notice the 2 and the 3 that show up here are the same as the 2 and the 3 that showed up in my slope. Okay, so then what this is saying, when I look at this general form of the same line, this is telling me that my normal vector for this line my normal vector for the line should be 2, negative 3, which means a vector that goes 2 in the x direction and negative 3 in the y direction. So if I were to do this from the origin, oops, I did not want to do that. If I were to do this from the origin here, I'm going to do this in red. It's saying go 2 in the x direction. So that's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, negative 3 in the y direction. And I would end up with this vector right here. Okay, and this vector should be perpendicular to my line. So now if I were to extend this vector, remember it doesn't matter where I draw a vector. No matter where I draw a vector, it's still the same vector as long as it's the same direction and the same length. So if I were to take this arrow and pick it up and stick it on the line, it should meet that line at 90 degrees. Now an easy way to see that would be if I just kind of extend this vector back like that. So notice that vector right there hits the line at 90 degrees. Okay, so this is basically what we're saying. 
because that two negative three has something to do with the slope, we can see that it actually creates a vector that is perpendicular to my line. Okay. So in other words, I can look at AX plus BY equals C and be like, oh, hey, look, that AB is a vector perpendicular to the line. We can see it right here. Now, sometimes you might be asked to find a direction vector for this line. What is a direction vector for this same line? Now I remind you, a normal vector we said is perpendicular. A direction vector, this would be a vector parallel to the line. Okay, so in other words, it's a vector that has the same slope as the line. So we actually saw this formula that told us that if I have some vector AB and I want to find a vector perpendicular to it, I can just flip the order of those things and do negative BA. So if I were to do this in terms of that two negative three that I have right there, then basically that's like saying two negative three is perpendicular to the vector positive three, two. Now this positive three, two is saying go three in the x direction and go two in the y direction. But that's exactly what a slope is, right? So if I go back and look at the slope of this line, the slope of this line was two thirds. And what does that mean? It means go two in the y direction. Look, going two in the y direction and go three in the x direction, going three in the x direction. So if I were to draw this vector three, two, it's like saying go three in the x direction. So I'm gonna do this in the like uh, the kind of galaxy pen. One, two, three in the x direction and go up two in the y direction. And notice this vector right here, which I'm gonna call D, it is perpendicular to my normal vector. They meet at that 90 degree angle right there. So they meet at 90 degrees, but it's also parallel to my line. So this, using this formula we had right here, we were able to create something, a vector that represented the slope two thirds. So this right here, oops, this D equals three, two is a direction vector parallel to the line our line was 2x minus 3y equals negative 4. And our n, which was 2, negative 3, is a normal vector perpendicular, or orthogonal, we could say, perpendicular to that same line. 2x minus 3y is equal to negative 4. So normal vectors and direction vectors for the same line will always be perpendicular to each other. Okay, so again, let's just think about this. Let's go back and look at our line. Our line is the blue thing. The two three that we got, the two negative three that we got was our normal vector. We can see that it's perpendicular to our line. Then the three two that we got was the direction vector. Notice it kind of told me the same thing as the slope. So the direction vector is parallel to my line. And so we can kind of see there's this relationship here between the coefficients of x and y, the direction vector, and the normal vector. Now hopefully that helped you guys to understand this a little bit better. Bye!